Hello, it's Penny from the Silver and Fit program. Today is gentle yoga, 30 minutes to open up your body, take a few deep breaths, and hopefully you will come out at the end at an elevated level. Make sure that you have a nice space to move as well as a steady chair. As always, do what's right for you. Yoga is to yoke body, mind, and spirit. This is truly for all levels, and really it's about control and getting yourself back in balance. So it's really important to work hard with the weights and the cardio. It's equally as important to breathe deep and take some time to relax and restore your body. So with that, we're gonna start in mountain pose. So we're standing tall, maybe shift around from your right to your left foot. And just notice your feet. And then maybe gently just shift forward and back a little bit, toe to heel. Finally, plant your feet. So we feel equal distribution from your big toe, pinky toe, and heels. Firm up your thighs. Belly pulled to the spine, ribs hug in. Fingers reach down as your head lengthens to the ceiling. Mountain pose. Strong, steady, confident, unmoving. We're gonna start breathing. Inhale, as you reach up, exhale, palms press together, right to heart center. Remembering to move at your perfect pace, matching breath with movement. Very calming effect. You can find a soft gaze in front of you. Everything else in the room becomes an outline. Let's do two more deep breaths, breathing all the way into your belly. Exhaling, hands to heart center. And we'll meet back in mountain pose. We're gonna go into just a really small chair flow. Take a big breath in, open, expand your chest. And then on the exhale, we're gonna sink down like we're sitting back in a chair. Chest stays right in front of your fingertips. Inhale, open. Exhale, belly pulls to spine. Just continue that, expanding your chest. Sinking into your legs. Shoulders are soft. Again, matching breath with movement. Inhale, open. Exhale, sink. Let's do two more. And one more. Coming back to mountain. Hands turned by your sides. Feet are nice and grounded. Reach up with your right arm. And open up that side body. Hold right there. Remember, all these movements should feel good. Our bodies are all built a little differently. It's okay to make modifications. Reach up with the left. Get length first. Open up that side body. And release down. Right arm reaches up and over, softening the neck. Releasing down, left arm reaches up, get that length, energy through those fingertips. And release center. Take the shoulders up, back, and down. Really noticing that release as the Shoulders roll down and back. One more nice shoulder roll. Shake out the arms. Press your palms down just to the breath. Take care to shoulder. 
chin to chest, and ear to shoulder. Again, just to the front, slow half neck circles. We hold so much in this region, it's really important to open up. It can even help you sleep a little better at night. Do two more. Again, just being aware of where you feel that sensation. And gently bring your head up. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now this time we're gonna bend the knees, lead with the chest. Just hinge down, feel the back opening. And then gently hinge up, keeping the head above the heart. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center, to the thighs, bent. Keep that spine long. Coming up, I'm gonna give you a side view. Inhale up. Exhale, hip hinge. Lead with your bottom. Notice how that spine stays so long. Let's do two more. Inhale up. Exhale. Support, hinge, gaze goes down, and then the gaze comes back up one last time. Feeling that back body starting to open as well as strengthen. Opening on the way down, on the way up that back body, strengthening. And release, shake it out. From mountain pose, take a big breath in. Exhale, hands by your side. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Now take that big breath in, open, expand your chest. Exhale, sink into chair. Slowly come up, hands by your sides. Right arm reaches up and then over. Release down, left arm reaches up, and then over. Coming back center, one shoulder roll up and back, palms down, half neck circle. Head comes back up center, take a big breath in. Exhale, hinge, fold forward, keeping the head above the heart. And then gently fold up. Let's do that again. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, expand, open your chest. Exhale, sit back in the chair. Come on up, right arm reaches up, feet are grounded and then over. And release, switching sides. Reaching up and over. Coming back center. One big shoulder roll up and back. Palms down. Neck circle in each direction to the front. Gently look up, take that big breath in. Exhale, folding, supporting, opening up that back body, and then using it to lift up. Shake everything out. Let's come directly behind the chair. Hands can be on the chair or at heart center. Step back with your right foot on the toe. Push your hip forward so we're in our high lunge. You can take any part of this that feels right. Now our hands are gonna come down, we're just gonna fly the arms. So squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take a few breaths, we have a soft gaze directly ahead. Your front left knee is hanging out with the toe. Hands back to heart center. Step in. 
Standing down dog. Hands are light on that chair. Walk yourself back. Ears go right between the upper arms. And oh my goodness, this should feel so good. You can keep a nice bend in your knees. Belly pulls in. Feeling that entire back body open. And then walk yourself in. We're gonna pedal out our feet. So just giving your feet a little massage here. Moving around, feeling all those little muscles in your feet. And then release. Hands in the chair or at heart center. Let's take our left leg back for high lunge. Left hip pushes forward slightly. We're solid in the front right leg. Soft, soft gaze. Let's open, fly the arms, engage your upper back. Fingertips are reaching down. Space between your shoulders and your ears. Notice your breath, deep breath. Hands back at heart center. Step in, walk yourself back into down dog. Few deep breaths right here. And walk yourself in. Let's paddle out those feet again. Giving those feet a little massage. And release. Now we're going to turn center, coming out to a wider stance. Five star position. Your ankle and your wrist are aligned. Hold right here. Just feel the strength of that five star as your feet ground. Get even distribution of that weight. Big toe, pinky toe, heel, fingers reach. Head reaches up and relax down. Now we're going to take the right toe, we're going to turn it out. Hands are tall. You can also have that chair right there by the side if you want to just hinge over and hold the chair. Or we're going to keep the legs long and solid. We're going to reach, lightly place the hand down. And then stretch up through that side body. This is called triangle. You can gaze up, center, or down. So again, the hand can be on a chair or light support on your thigh. Take a few breaths. If it feels odd for your shoulder to reach up, you can always take your hand behind and do a half bind. Opening up your chest. Now use your torso to come up. Turn that right toe forward. Release your hands down. Chest expansion. Find that beach ball behind your back. So it's a pretend beach ball. You're engaging the upper back. Feeling the back of the shoulders. Right between those shoulder blades. Hold right there. And then gently release. Five star position. This time let's take the left toes straight ahead. We have two long legs here. Keeping the leg long, so we're gonna reach forward and just cartwheel down. Finding triangle on the opposite side. Your hand is on the thigh, just avoid that knee. It's a floating bone. Keep breathing, remembering we have a half bind option. We can look center, we can look down, we can even hold that chair. Keep breathing. Soft gaze, your drishti. You're aware of everything in your environment, yet it becomes a really soft outline. Now use that midsection to cartwheel up. Now turn both toes 
slightly out. Soften your knees. Hands are on the thighs. We're gonna be keeping our head above our heart. We're just gonna be taking our right shoulder towards our left thigh with a hinge. So we're gonna hinge and hold right here. So you bend into those legs, a little push back. You may be feeling groin, inner thighs. Now long spine comes up. We're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna take our left shoulder to the right thigh. Breathe and then gently come up. Lengthen up through those legs. Take the toes forward. Inhale up. Exhale into five star. Let's try triangle one more time. Right toes, come out. Reach forward and cartwheel around. That right hand is really light by your body. Breathe, side opener. Now gently use that torso to cartwheel up. Toes come forward. Let's find that beach ball for chest expansion. Keep breathing. And release. Big breath in. Exhale into five star. Left toe is going to turn forward. Two long legs for triangle. Reach forward. Just cartwheel around. Like your body is between two doorways. Few more breaths. Torso brings you up. Now both toes go slightly out. Hands on the thighs, bend the knees. Take your left shoulder to your right thigh. Long spine comes up. Bend the knees. Right shoulder to left thigh, head above the heart. And then gently hinge up. We're gonna walk the feet in. Shake everything out. Let's take three deep breaths in. Just find mountain pose again, settle those feet in, firm everything up, take a big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two more big breath in. Exhaling, hands to heart center. And one more time. We're gonna come back facing the chair. Hands are on the chair, feet like they're on railroad tracks. Place your right foot forward by the chair and then your left foot back. Now we can keep a hold of this chair or we can fly our hands right here. Now this hinge is just going to be very, very slight. We're going to hinge forward just a little bit and then we're going to hinge up and reach up. Now, if you'd like to hinge forward a little more and you're right by that chair, you may want to scoot back, right? Maybe coming where you're parallel to the ground. And then inhaling up, strong torso. Now, remember, we can also have that chair support, but we definitely have a hip hinge. And you're going to feel the back of that front right leg really opening. Hips are level. Let's do one more. Get lots of versions. Hands come to heart center. Step it in. Let's just work through those feet and those hips. And 
and relax. So again, choosing maybe feet close to the chair for the first one. Taking the left foot forward and the right foot back like you were on railroad tracks. And again, it's gonna be a hip hinge. You can always leave your hands at your thighs too. We're gonna hip hinge forward, spine stays long, and then hip hinge up. I'm gonna go through the options again, maybe gently holding the chair, reaching up or stepping a little further away, lying the arms, low as we go as parallel to the ground, and getting length. Find where it feels good. We're feeling that back of the left leg opening now. Remember, we move with attention and grace. Allow yourself to get a little lost. Let's do one more on this side. And then we're going to step in, massage out those feet. Come back center. Feet hip width apart, three more deep breaths into that belly. Take a big breath in. Exhale. I always like to think on that big breath in, gathering in all that good stuff. Sealing it into heart center. One more time, big breath in. Big exhale. And release. We're gonna go into a little bit of balance, into tree pose. So again, you've got your chair. If you'd like to use it, we have a few options. Let's start balancing on our left foot. So really ground that foot. Tip toe the right, you can hold the chair. Now, you can simply just open up the leg right here. You could connect your foot with your calf, or you could come above the knee and connect your foot with your thigh. If you'd like, hands can come to heart center. And we're gonna hold. Now, if you fall out or you feel unsteady, make sure you have some support nearby. You fall out, you tell yourself, good job, and you get back in. Or maybe you want to grow those branches. And let's spend about three more deep breaths right here. Don't let Oreo knock off your balance. <laughs> he has to make an appearance. He likes yoga. Now we're going to come out the way we come, came in. See how graceful you can be. Releasing and lowering. Massage out those feet and hips. Let's try the opposite side. So we're gonna ground the right foot this time. Remember we could have that chair there. Come on the left toe and open. Maybe this is enough. Maybe we connect below the knee or above. Then we bring the hands to heart center to start. Let's see if you can feel that moment of steadiness, stillness. So much strength right here happening to keep you steady and still. Maybe you decide to grow those branches. Keep a soft face, fluid breath. Three more breaths. Hands to heart center. Now we're gonna try to come out as gracefully as we came in. Shake it out. For this last part, we are gonna come into a seated position. We're gonna utilize the chair. It really does help lengthen our spine. So important. We're going to sit right at the edge of the chair, so our bottom's fully on. We're nice and tall. We're going to walk the feet out, thinking about opening up our inner thighs. So 
we're going to take that big breath in, hands on the thighs, keeping the spine long, kind of hinge forward till we feel that opening. And then gently hinge up. Take your hands on your chair, open the side body. Come on in. Bottom stays firm on a chair, opening the opposite side body. Come on in. Hands on the thighs, hinge forward, leading with the chest. Hinge back up. This time we're going to grab the back of that chair, lift and expand your chest. Hold here, breathe. As that body opens, take the space. Release, hands on the thighs, hinge forward. Gently hinge back up. This time, palms forward, open up your upper back. Maybe just reach forward with your fingers and reach up. Hands go to the ceiling. One last time, hinge, and we're going to hold right here. Breathe. Right where you feel that inner thigh groin opening. Ah, deep breaths. Hey, you kitties, don't fight. We're doing yoga. No fighting. So holding that, Phoebe and Oreo, my cats are in front of me, but underneath the camera, you heard that. I don't think they're feeling the yoga mode yet. They need to take a few deep breaths. <laughs> Slowly come up, walk your feet in. And we're gonna sit really, really tall. Now we're gonna lengthen out the right leg, reach your arms up. And then on the exhale, hug your knee into your chest. Release down. Take the left leg out, inhale. Exhale, hug that left knee in. You can hug behind the thigh as well. And release, let's do that again. Lengthen, big breath in. Exhale, hug that knee and keep your chest up. And release. Left leg, lengthen that body, big breath in. Exhale, hug. And release. Now, we're gonna take our feet Make sure they're hip width apart, nice and tall. Hands and heart center. Take a big breath in and let's rotate towards your left leg. Once we have that rotation, we can drop the hands down. You can even grab the back of the chair, place that right hand gently on the thigh, and just twist, look over your shoulder. Come back center, hands at heart center, take that big breath in. Exhale, let's twist towards the right knee. So it's all from that rib cage, and then we're just gonna hold. Take that look over. Spine is so long. Shoulders are soft from the ears. Come on in. Go ahead and just lift one foot up. Let's circle out that ankle. Go the opposite direction. Point and flex. And release. One shoulder at a time, up and back. 
Again, think about giving that body a massage. And release. Let's pick the left leg up just a bit. Circle the ankle. Go the opposite direction. Point and flex. And release. Now sitting tall. Open and close the fingers. Rotate out your wrists. Just keep sitting there. Rotate the opposite way. And we're going to do finger to thumb. Keep going. Finger to thumb. And gently release. Shake out your legs, your arms. And we're going to come into final relaxation. And you're welcome now to stay nice and tall on the spine. But just make sure the arms are heavy, hands are heavy, or you can walk back and sit all the way up against the back of your chair. Let's take a second just to shut our eyes and to come in. Just taking notice, how does your body feel after 30 minutes of gentle yoga? And then noticing upstairs. Do you have a lot of thoughts? Have they calmed? No judgment, just taking notice. And lastly, noticing the ease that you have created. Ease in the body, mind, and our energy. Let your breath return to normal. Just take in your practice. We'll slowly open up our eyes, wiggle fingers and toes, take our hands to heart center, and we end our yoga practice. I'm going to say namaste, which means the light in me respects the light in you. Namaste. Oh, please drink some water again. I hope that you are in an elevated state. Sometimes we just simply need to take deep breath and slow things down. There are so many benefits for yoga um, and also for our flexibility and balance class. We need to really make sure that we're doing all of the components of fitness and practicing all the components of fitness to be well-rounded. So yes, it's good to lift weights for your muscles and your bones, and it's good to move your body, get your heart rate up, get your breath up for heart health and to burn calories. It's equally as important to make sure that we have joint range of motion, to be body aware, aware of our movements, and to open things up and to allow for a little restoration. So with that, this is Penny from Silver and Fit. I hope you are feeling restored, right? <laughs> Until next time, drink some water.